the New York Knickerbockers go to Memphis to visit the Grizzlies there. Um, the Knicks trying to hold on to as many left-handed players as they can, acquiring Jalen Brunson. Seven-point dogs here, the total right at 226 and a half. Now, Josh, this total looks a little bit low to me, maybe. I know Grizzlies games are generally fast-paced, but can Thibodeau and the Knicks here keep this close? I don't know. I really don't know what to do with the New York Knicks uh, going into the season in terms of how to rate them appropriately versus the market. I I think that, you know, just on first glance, that number looks right. That total probably looks right. I mean, if I had to lean somewhere, I would lean the overs because I think that we saw last season, you know, Thibodeau was happy to to get his guys to play a little bit more up-tempo. And I think that they're probably going to keep carrying that into this season, especially with Jalen Brunson there now as well. They have a little bit more shot making and shot creating which is obviously going to help that roster immensely so uh, I would only play an over here if I was going to get involved in the game in any way shape or form but I I still have questions as well about uh, how effective Memphis can be losing Jared Jackson Jr. I think is going to be big for them Mm -hmm. can they get that that you know that boost from Zaya Williams is he going to take that step for them have teams kind of figured out how to play them a little bit in the regular season you know if you shut down that transition you force them into half court sets they're half is just not very good, period. Um, but whether the New York Knicks are a team that can sort of take advantage and implement something like that is another question altogether. So I don't trust them to do it. Uh, I don't want anything to do with this game, I don't think. Like I said, if I had to pick something, it would just be points just based on how this game projects to be in terms of pace. Hey, what do you think, Jay? Yeah, this is a this is a tough game. Uh, I think the spread is a little too high, in my opinion, for the Grizzlies here, especially without Jaron Jackson. So they lost Kyle. They call, they lost Kyle Anderson off the bench. Um, they lost Anthony Milton as well. And then, like you guys said, they don't have a Triple J right now. So be interesting to see if their young guys can step up. I know out of Mina, I'm probably saying his name kind of wrong, but he's probably going to step in and be the four. Not sure how he's going to look defensively here. And I'll tell you something. Isaiah Hardenstein is a very underrated pickup for the Knicks, guys. He was big for the Clippers last year off the bench. He's going to be big for the Knicks this year off the bench, and it's key because Noah wasn't really uh, staying uh, staying healthy for them. So if they can keep Robinson and Hardenstein, they'll have some really good center play uh, out there. Hardenstein might be starting after a while, but um, Jalen Brunson is looking like he didn't miss a step. Man, the guy's a baller. I didn't like that he left my Mavs, but the guy's a baller. You um, You pair him with some good guards over there as well. I think the Knicks might be able to keep this game a little bit, uh, a little bit closer than uh, a lot of people think. It does pain me to say I think that people are a little bit down on the Knicks. You're right. Being able to take Hartenstein and swap him in for Nerlens Noel, who, as a Sixers fan, I've gotten to see what Nerlens Noel can do, and it's pretty good for about 15 minutes a night every other game. Um, not really somebody that you're looking for. I, I like that team, and yeah, I, I think this is an over spot, even though I like early under season unders. Josh, you're right. Towards the end of the season. Thibodeau sort of let the, the reins loose a little bit. We'll see how many points there are, but this will be another game where I'm just trying to watch and learn. So no real plays for us here. We'll see how this game goes. 